Hey guys, Mr. Railroad Runner here. I'm going to teach you guys today how to drive the USLW.net 282 Mikado. Um, so basically, I'll run you through the great gauges quick. This is the brake bite between the cars. This is how much pressure you have there for your train brake. This is the brake cylinders in the cars and how much PSI they have. And this is your main reservoir, which is basically what you get to draw from. And this is your equalizer, again, your brakes. Uh, this is the brake train brake status. Uh, this is the boiler pressure right here. Uh, pretty self-explanatory in that one. Uh, the throttle. Uh, the cutoff is basically how much percentage forward or backwards you have. Um, water, you want to keep about 40 to 30 percent area. Um, steam chest is actually how much steam is in the cylinders. Um, and the coal level should be pretty self-explanatory. So, I do things a little different. We're going to release the train brake here, and I'm going to show you what most people do when they get into a steam engine in cab mode. Floor it. Now, as you can see, we're slipping. The engine doesn't really want to bite in. So, what I'm going to do for this, it's finally biting in, but we don't care now. Throw the rev in, into the reverse. I'll cover that again in a minute. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw up partial, not all the way, we're going to limit our steam flow a little bit, pull the train brake off here, pull the engine brake off. Now, depending on if we have steam in our steam chest, we only have four pounds. Uh, sometimes you start rolling just on that. So we're going to start it my way. So see how much quicker we started? We're only up to five miles, but uh, there, we're already letting it roll. You can get it up long as you don't see it blinking yellow and you see how quickly we're accelerating that's just because we're starting it slowly and we're biting into the rails which is really what you want to do now we're up to 30 miles an hour and now we're gonna I guarantee you accelerate on this hill with a steam engine quickly we can put, throw it up oh, back it down back it down there we go and we can See, we're accelerating. So I'm going to shut it off here. Now, another thing, I'm going to give you the tip. Brake with your reverser. This will actually, because there's still steam in your steam chest, this is going to basically throw it into reverse and reverse the um, valve gear and vent basically the air out. So we can put our cutoff in reverse. And as you'll see, we can start slowing down just with our throttle, or not throttle, Johnson bar or a reverser, whichever you like. Um, now, I generally like to use my train brake as much as I can mixed in with the reverser because that's the best strategy I've found. Um, so yeah, that's just one thing I've noted. I'm gonna slow it down. Uh, we'll bring it to a stop here and I'm gonna try to demonstrate. Worked for me a minute ago. Throw it in the reverse here. Now, as you can see, the combination of that, I know I throw it into emergency, but so basically, we have our tr train brake, we have a pound in our uh, steam chest, which is less than I'd like for this. But we're going to throw our steam chest into forward. Don't open it full power, because then you got too much escaping for this. But sometimes, you can actually take off. We'll give it just a tad to build up the steam. Near 49 PSI. We're on a hill right now. Um, and we're starting to move. We move there. Yep, we're moving a little bit. And, you know, that's 41 pounds of cylinder pressure, and we're starting to move. I'm not even giving it throttle. So that's really something impressive about it. I'll give it a little throttle to start the train off again. Uh, now, one thing to note, the steam coming off the cylinders here, this is your cylinder cocks, as they're called. Basically, they vent your excess water or condensed water out of the cylinders. Now, you steam guys already know this, but just for the beginner say an MSTS this is also a really helpful tip only open your uh, cylinder cocks when you're getting moving it really helps I mean, even you don't even need to open them for that long just for five seconds say ten seconds depending on the engine uh, but it'll really help your performance you know when you need them after time of using them um, there's really just a feel for it you get over time uh, Again, nothing really else to say. Uh, check out the horn and whistle, bell and whistle. 
there's a cab car in the back so you hear the cab car bell as well but USLW did a great job on this model at the same time the only gripe I have is the cab which well is stock to put it decently uh, anyway the engine is really it's a nice engine and she runs really well I'd recommend getting this if you can so really there's nothing you should keep an eye on especially uh, one more tip I will give is when you're adding water to the boiler try not to add it when you're steaming up because if you're pouring steam out of your throttles and you're adding cold water that's basically two ways of cooling the boiler down and getting less steam so if you have you can add water before you start or if you can add water after you start that's a better tactic uh, also one last thing I don't know if I mentioned this in this video or not I've had three tries now uh, but if you're braking with your reverser uh, also brake with the uh, train brake at the same time it's a little more uh, effective I've found uh, so yeah there's nothing really else to state about the locomotive uh, it's a USLW model uh, it's a very nice model I'd recommend it uh, drive it <laughs> in a different view besides cab mode uh other than that though it's a great model and uh yeah so thanks for watching this is mr railroad runner